Hello, this is Chef John from FoodWishes.com with a Better Late Than Never clip. This is Paul Rigetti from the Santa Maria Road Trip showing us how they really cook their Santa Maria style tri-tip. Take it away, Paul. My name is Paul Rigetti and I live on the central coast of California. And today we're going to prepare a couple of tri-tip. Tri-tip, the, re the, the, the name tri-tip came from a like a triangle piece of meat on the lower side of the top sirloin. You see it's kind of like a triangle piece. Uh, we're going to trim these up a little bit. They do have a little bit of fat on them. Uh, I, I like to leave some fat on them because it helps the barbecue uh, flame. It, it adds a little fuel to the fire if you want to use that term. Here we're going to get a little fat off this side. My tip generally uh, wasn't real popular until about 20 years ago, maybe 25 years ago, and the butchers really didn't know what the tri-tip was. Uh, they kind of peeled it off and used it for hamburger because it, it's a little more coarse. It's not as it's not a nice a cut as a as a uh, top sirloin or a ribeye. So they, they really didn't know what to do with it, so they just kind of ground it up, but then after they barbecued with it a few times, then they kind of thought that they better not throw that away. I think they can market it a little bit better and, and demand a little more higher price. We're going to season these up, and we're going to put them on the red oak barbecue. Today we're going to use uh, Suzy Q brand uh, product on it, which is Santa Maria style barbecue. And I like to use a generous amount because it does cook off so garlic, garlic salt, and pepper, and mm -hmm. a little bit of parsley. Mm -hmm. See, I told you guys to season well. This is a pro here, and he's uh, not shy. <laughs> All right, so these are seasoned. We had a nice bed of glowing embers, and he just put in a couple. We added a couple sticks of red oak in there. Uh, I, I like to cook on a little more coals than on open flame. But for each their own, you know, a, a little more open flame might deliver a little more smoke flavor. So the more smoke you want, the more of the fresh wood you want. Right. And when if you could count to 10, it's probably too cold. You might have to drop the screen. Right now it's it's close to 10. But if you could count to five or six, uh, which would be about the right temperature. So one of the secrets to the Santa Maria barbecue is these adjustable grill grates where they raise and lower depending on how if they want to sear it or if they want to slow, slow it down a little bit towards the end. That's correct. I generally like to start the tri-tip with the fat side up because generally your fire might be a little bit hotter as you're putting it on and this way it, you won't have a, a big flame up if the fat starts to uh, uh, cook which drops the the fat back on the fire and you, you know you could get a somewhat of a little flare up there with your with your flame now most people think when they're barbecuing flames are bad but that's because the meat's too close to the flame and the, and the fat starts you know, burning in the air and it makes that gasoline flavor. But yeah, this, as right. you can see, this is a good you know, 12, 18 inches away from those flames. So this is getting the nice smokiness and it's, the flames are cooking it, but it's not, it doesn't give it that off, that off flavor. We've had the dry tip on this one side for approximately 15 minutes. And we're gonna turn it over and we're gonna darken the other side. So now you're saying this cooks about 45 minutes to an hour total. That's correct. And you yeah. do about four turns. Just about four turns. And it should be ready to go as it's cooking. See, it's kind of leaving a little... A little char? Up, yeah, a little uh, dark brown. Right, which is, which is a good thing. And it's going to sear the juice in. And you can see those tri-tips are starting to swell up a little bit. They were flat when we started. Now they're kind of swollen up more like a football now. Okay, on this side here, we've turned them once, and now we're going to turn them back. 
uh, to the original side where we started. Okay, so we're into it about a half hour now. About 50, you're saying about 15 minutes aside, turn in, turn in, but again, it, towards the end, you got to play bear, of course, like any grilled meat. And we're shooting for medium rare, which Paul highly recommends. Okay, we've cooked this tri tip approximately 45 minutes right now. Uh, it should be rare right now. We're going to take it off and put it in the pan, and we're going to cover it and let it. Let it rest for 10 or 15 minutes uh, while we finish up the bread. So you could kind of see how the grain is running here. It's kind of like on a 45. So we'd like to cut it cross grain, but in order to do that, we're gonna to have to come this way just a little bit. So we'll see how this is gonna work. Beautiful, juicy. Now one thing about the camera with this light, it never looks the right color until I get the regular right. camera on it. Now a lot of people I see this slicing it so extra thin. You like to cut it in a good size slice. Yes, I do. You know, usually three eighths to half an inch is what we generally cut. And then Michelle and I sat down to this incredible red oak barbecued tri-tip lunch. It was fantastic. So thanks to Paul and his wife Susie for uh, hosting us. It was a really fun afternoon. I learned a lot and saw how they really do the barbecue tri-tip. Anyway, I hope you learned something and check out the site for more info. And as always, enjoy. <laughs>